Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. <coughs> Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red band. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock. Ring parcels to your door. Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man <laughs> Have you seen the honey? Oh, sorry, love. There's Dorothy's strawberry jam. Dad, if strawberry jam comes from strawberry plants, does honey come from honey plants? <laughs> no, honey comes from... Special delivery service. Pat speaking. Pat, it's Ben. We've got a special delivery. I'm on my way. What's that noise? You'll see. Bye. Bye. Bye, love. We've got a special delivery, Jess. What's it going to be today? Meow. There's that noise again. It's coming from inside. Let's go and... Oh! Hello. I come in peace. Do you need to phone home? Hello, Pat. Ben, it's you. Oh, are you going to a fancy dress party? No, it's a beekeeper's outfit. It protects you from bee stings when you're looking after bees. And you're going to need one for your special delivery. Oh, come and see. Beehive? That's right. It's for Ralph at Thompson Ground. But aren't bees quite dangerous? No, they won't hurt you so long as you don't irritate them or scare them. Here, put this on and we'll load them into the van. Leave the door half open so the bees will have enough air. Perfect. Right, Jess, let's get these bees to their new home. Meow. Special delivery service is on the move. Oh, yes. Ted's delivering the new hanging baskets later on today. Oh, I've made the hanging baskets for years. And they're lovely, really. Oh, you're very kind. They'll just go to waste, though. It's a shame no one else wants them. Oh, hello, everyone. Have you got any glass jars for honey, Mrs Goggins? Honey? How nice. Are you keeping bees, then? Yes. Oh, I'm ever so excited. I've always wanted to keep honey bees. Oh, yes, me too. Although, I've got such a sweet tooth, I'd probably eat all the honey in one go. <laughs> uh, you're, um, sweet enough, Sylvia. There you are. And I've got a lovely honey flapjack recipe. You should try my Welsh honey cakes. Oh, yes, please. Uh... Now, what?
What are you two up to? Have you been stealing pumpkins' apples again, Rosie? <coughs> Come on, you two. <coughs> Rosie, you stay here while I put pumpkin back in the field. Stop teasing each other. Special delivery for Thompson Ground. Mission accomplished. Oh! Meow. Where are they? I don't understand. They were in the hive. Meow. The rope. Rosie must have chewed through it. Rosie, I might have known. Them bees were a present for Dorothy. She'll be right disappointed. Don't worry, Alf. I'll find them. The special delivery service never lets you down. Can you see them, Jess? I bet my pencaster fly can fly faster than them bees. To the small ones. Oh, have you got it? Uh, yeah. Just. You really are beautiful, Mrs. Goggins. What's going to happen to them? Oh, I don't know. I think they're just going to be thrown away. What a shame. May I have one for the surgery? And we'd love to have a couple at school, wouldn't we, kids? Yeah! Oh, you're very kind. So that just leaves this big one. Pat, how's it going? Well, the hive's been safely delivered. The hive? What about the bees? Ah, well, um... Meow! Oh, hang on, Ben. I'm on it. On it? On what? Stay here, Jess. We don't want you getting stung. Meow. That's it. Gently, gently. Let's go home now. Morning, Pat. Hi, Amy. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. Oh, stop. Amy. Jess, I'll never get the van across that field. What am I going to do now? Meow. Hmm. I know. Hello. Ben. 
again? It's Pat. I'm coming back to Pencaster. Get the SDS helicopter ready. <laughs> Hi, Pat. The helicopter's ready. Thanks, Ben. I've been reading online about bees, and it says that when they're flying outside of the hive like this, it's called swarming. Swarming? Yes, and when they're swarming, they're looking for somewhere new to live. Great. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Clifton, special delivery service. Pat, it's Ben. It says here that bees are attracted to flowers with lots of pollen. They use the nectar from the flowers to make honey. Flowers, eh? Thanks, Ben. I'll keep an eye out. <coughs> what is it, Jess? Brilliant! Good lad! Come on, let's follow them! Oh, thank you, Arthur. Um, flowers for a, a beautiful flower. Um, there up, everyone! Here's the new hanging baskets. With bees? Now then, stay calm. Lauren, make sure them kids stay well back. Why, why are they here? I don't know. I do. They're following those flowers. But they're causing a public disturbance. Don't worry, Arthur. I've got an idea. <whistles> Closer, closer. <gasps> there. Hooray! Yay! Oh, well <laughs> done, Pat. Now let's get these bees to Thompson Ground where they belong. Be careful. It's all right, Dorothy. There. Well done, Dorothy. Look, that bee's going inside the hive. That'll be the queen bee. If she goes into the hive, everyone else will follow her. See? Looks like the bees love you, a hanging basket, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, yes. A new home for it. And for me bees. Thanks, Pat. No problem, Alf. Special delivery service. Mission accomplished. <laughs>